Hey guys, so welcome to my first WISE tutorial that I'll be putting up on YouTube. These are going to be very um, non-edited and um, very straightforward. I'm just going to be working on stuff, um, probably stuff that's already like done, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it. So uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is the options. You see these uh, master music and sounds slider. These will be controlling the volume of your game. And um, it's very easy to set up. But if you're new to WISE, this might take you a little bit, a bit of time to um, understand how it works. So I just wanted to show, first of all, let's just demonstrate how that works. So we're going to play the scene. You see the options canvas. Uh, we're going to click on the masters. And when we do, we see on the bottom here, the master volume changing. Great. We click on the music slider just so that we can see uh, the value. We're going to see the music's volume changing. And finally, the sound's volume changing as well. And right now, you're not hearing any audio because my programmer didn't implement any audio into this um, scene, but I know that it works. You just need to get that sound, that number to change. And to do that, it's very easy to do. So let me just go ahead and first of all, as a good habit, it's always good to just open up your GitHub desktop, like here. You see I already made a lot of changes. You want to go to your branch and update from default branch to just check for any um, updates from your teammates because that's very good. Um, if you can keep up with your teammates' updates, you don't have to overwrite your work on accident and you can be staying updated and you can just like send out your your work and not have to worry about a thing. So we're just gonna, now that we checked that we're updated, we're gonna put that aside. Let's go to, um, so on each of these sliders, my programmer decided to create one specific script that will be shared among those three. And um, I think this is a very good thing to do if you can use a uh, very small amount of scripts to reference as many different objects as possible. It's always better. Yeah, it's less clunky and it's a better practice. So here you can see that the change volume level script is just thrown onto the slider object for all three of them. Uh, what makes them different is their names, master volume slider, music slider, sound slider. So we're just gonna open up that script and see where that goes. So let's open up that script. And we're in the change volume levels and I'm using Visual Studio, Visual Studio's really great like it it's just like so much better than um, mono mono develop you cl click on something and it just like highlights things for you and it, I, I don't know it's amazing okay and um, so on the top here you see the cha uh, change volume level script name which is the script that we're using right now uh, public slider this slider this is actually very important because it actually uh, opens up a little public um, hole here where you can drag your slider into it to tell Unity that this is a slider you're referencing. Um, next we have three separate floats. This is also very important because um, at first my programmer made me one single uh, float value and tried to plug it into this uh, bottom part here but um, WISE doesn't like that. WISE needs separate specific float saved onto uh, your Unity game. So that's why we have separate uh, master volume, music volume, and sound effects volume here. And then we have the void start, void update. We're, we're not going to be using these, so we're just going to leave it up there. Um, then we have public void set specific volume function. So basically what that is, is when you're moving the slider, it's um, not returning anything, so it's just updating the slider's volume only. Um, float slider volume uh, sorry, float slider value equals this slider's value. So this is basically translating the slider's uh, value into this slider's value um, to be plugged into here and here and here. Uh, if statement, then, so the master volume is equal to this slider value. This master volume float that we set up there is gonna equal to that. And then AK sound engine dot set RTPC value, master volume, master volume. What this means is it's this this script is basically calling WISE to set this RTPC 
to be this float value that was mentioned here, which is now equal to this, which is now equal to this, which is now equal to this, which is now equal to your slider's volume. So um, this here is your RTPC's ID. Um, we're going to jump over to Wise to show you what I mean by that. So as you can see, if we go to the Game Syncs tab here, this is where we have all these uh, switches and states and all these nice game parameters that are going to be used for our game, such as like you know how much ammo we have, how many speed, how much speed we have, uh, whether we're you know um, in a music like if you're muted or music or something like that. Um, we have I made a quick uh, folder here called Volume folder, and in in there I just put three separate RTPCs and um, right now I'm in the sound banks but okay if we go to designer you can see that the range is set from 0 to 100 because volume can be going from 0 to 100 you can set this to be from like 1 to 5 if you only want like 5 increments um, it will still work but this gives you more flexibility and the default is set to 75 because I like it when games just kinda like you know give you about like 75% of their full volume before you start the game in case your speaker like blows up in your face. So um, once you've created these three RTPCs, head over to your audio. Here's all my um, audio files that I'm using right now, but pay attention to the to the uh, buses up here. So there's the master audio bus, the environmental, and the music. And in case you don't you don't know what this is, the environmental is actually the sound effects, all the sound effects that are happening in the world, including your player and your ambiences and everything like that. And so these are actually two uh, buses that are channeling into the master audio bus. So what I've done is for each audio bus, I go to the RTPC tab here and um, I set it up already. But if I just remove this right now, this is what you would see if you just go to the RTPC tab. Um, you click on this and you select the voice volume for this this bus. So you want to set the volume of this bus equal to the RTPC volume that you're getting from Unity, right? So you click on voice volume for the Y axis. And for the X axis, what do you need it to be controlled by? Well, you need to control it by the volume um, value that you're getting from Unity. So we're going to select the master volume. And now you can see um, this line being represented to uh, basically what's going to happen if you're getting this number from Unity. And Wise is going to control your music's volume based on that number. So as you can see, if my number is 99.325, your volume will be very close to um, here. We could see that it's negative 0, 0.0 dB. This is decibel, so that's the volume. So this is full volume. If we have it to 50, if the slider gives you 50 as a volume, then you're going to end up with negative 6 decibels point. And um, this at 0, it's going to be fully muted because negative 200 dB means you're pretty much not going to be able to uh, hear it at all. So you go ahead and do this for every um, sound effects um, bus, the music bus, and you can do this with like more stuff if you, I don't, I can't really think of any other examples to have like more controls for this kind of stuff um, but yeah you can control pretty much everything this way um, then you want to save your project and generate your sound bank because these two things have to be done if you want to uh, if you want those changes to show up in unity uh, make sure to save your scene and test it out right now I can't test it out because in this current scene there's no music or no sound effects but if I were to test it out if I were to change the slider the value from the slider will be feed, uh, fed into here and uh, as you can see in this uh, this script into here and that will be fed into Wise which will dynamically change the volume. Alright so that's how it's done. The options are actually very simple um, once you have a general understanding of how this works and how um, the set RTPC function works to send information into Wise it's actually very easy to communicate information um, from Unity into Wise so that you can set up the, the option voice volume controller for your project. And uh, that's it for this episode. Next, we're going to be working on 
implementing some sound effects into our game. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.